Hey YouTube, this is Tim 84 g Today I'm going to show you how to make a Bluetooth antenna. It's useful for uh, these types of Bluetooth headphones. You want to go on a long walk, need some distance, need some range. You can really extend the range to be basically so long that you would need a lot of measuring tape to measure. It, it That's not a good example. It's long. So we're going to build one. Now, let me just switch the angle one moment here. It's hot. It's very hot. I'm gonna put it down here in the floor. Okay. This is, I took some notes over here, so I wouldn't forget what I was gonna say. Um, let's see. Anyway, okay. Again, people they got declining attention spans in the past year. You can look, I got all the YouTube analytics, see the attention spans. Would you? Everyone's like, oh, let me get in my iPhone, my tablet, my smart device. You mean, let me look at the. You know, Actually, YouTube, maybe that's part of the problem. Am I, ca am I causing declining? Anyway, on with the video, shall we? Okay, Bluetooth antenna. Same exact concept as a Wi Fi antenna. Uh, I made a video on that. I'll put a little link on the bottom in the interest of shameless self promotion. Just like, so you can see this, subscribe. Uh, well, no, 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 don't subscribe. Think of it who you're subscribing to. You don't want to subscribe to some nut job. Okay? Just because they say, oh, subscribe to me. Think about it first. Oh, like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Go f yourself. No. Make your own decisions. Anyway. With that being said, oh, I'm going to burp. Wait, wait. I'm going to run out of film too. It's going to be a disaster. The coffee will keep it down. This is actually pretty, what you do is I just mix the milk and the sugar into the pot and just save so much, it's, it's very, it's like saving the environment, it's so efficient. Mm. Okay, it's, it spills. Mm. Anyway, yeah, so if you're making a lot of cantonas, you obviously have to drink a lot of coffee. Or you could donate the coffee to the homeless, maybe you get, but then again they're going to be hungry after they have the coffee. No! Coffee is an appetite depressant, so the homeless wouldn't be hungry. Solve two problems at once. Then you go and make antennas, give the homeless free Wi Fi, give them tablets, all types of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut most of that out. Hopefully, I didn't earn out of film. I'm gonna burp again. Anyway, okay, Bluetooth antenna, same thing as a Wi Fi antenna. I'm not, going to the, I'm not gonna get into the science behind it. Did that in the last one, lost freaking half the audience. Science is boring. I got like a music soundtrack, like. I already got a uh, sample footage, I got an explosion shooting out of my mouth, I need topless women but being chased by explosions down hallways, you can't do that on YouTube, but anyway, here we go, lots of coffee. So, here's the, here's the deal, I think what you do, Be, see how you have the thing on the barcode, right above the barcode, that's where we make the hole in this coffee can, okay, now this is one of those uh, cardboard composite types of uh, coffee uh, thingies, and if you take a look in the store, all the coffee things, they're the same exact size. And they have the barcodes usually in the same exact spot. So, knowing that, you don't even have to get out the old measure tape to do anything. <clears throat> there it came. You can just kind of eyeball it, comes out perfect. And this Bluetooth antenna, man, it is powerful. And because Bluetooth operates on the same, uh, same frequencies as uh, Wi-Fi, there's, again, a lot of Wi-Fi uh, pollution, a lot of too many Wi-Fi devices all around Bluetooth because it has less of a power output it, your Bluetooth devices will get boom knocked off the air quick someplace go to New York City try to hook up Bluetooth headphones lose the connection boom 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 because there's so much Wi-Fi knocking it out so in some cases it may be necessary even in a you know home environment to have the Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna so we got a big lake back there. We're gonna go walk around the lake. It's we're gonna test. Now, here's what we need. We need something to cut a hole there, okay? To stick a USB cable through. Uh, 
Then we're going to put a little tiny tripod mount on there so we can stick that on a tripod, kind of aim it. But you don't have to do that. That's some fancy stuff. Now, okay, so Bluetooth, Bluetooth. If you're an IT person, you always have one of these with you. A little Bluetooth thing right there. That's going to pop in. Uh, I mean, look at this. You get the, look at this. You can tell I'm not getting not getting laid. Look. Where is it? Yep. That was just right on me. I didn't even plan that. It's like, I'm gonna have to, it's like weighing me down. Ugh. Anyway. Woo. Okay. So, make the hole right there. That is actually, that is, uh, running out of footage. That is 2.1. That's 2.1 inches from the bottom of the can. Uh, or if you want to get fancy, use the metric system, which actually all the world uses except the United States because we're a bunch of ignorant people. Then it was five and one third centimeters. Okay? Then you jam the USB cable into that hole that you cut. You can use anything to cut it. You can use look, you could use knives. Boom! Not like that. However, you go ahead and you make that hole very carefully. You can use anything. What else do you got? Yeah, I got in here. This what is a box cutter, box cutter, really anything to make the hole right there. Put the USB cable in, glue it in, pop that little Bluetooth thing in, and then you have a Bluetooth antenna. Okay? So, okay, let me go do that quick. I'm just kidding, I already have one made. Okay. Here we go, this is what it ends up looking like. Notice I have the tripod. This is a tripod mount on the bottom. So I can put it on this nice big tripod I got on the back deck. Aim it. Okay? So you got this, uh, that's all it is, really. And again, the USB female end sticks out 1.21 inches, or if you want to get fancy, use the metric system, 3 centimeters. Uh, okay, so you, then you pop the Bluetooth. Where did where you put the Bluetooth? Oh, here it is. Pop the Bluetooth in. You can never have enough coffee, you know? There you go. How, how hard was that? Well, I, I already did it, so it wasn't really hard at all. In fact, I could have gotten cut with those knives. Anyway, so look at this camera, okay? Nice camera. See the little tiny, that's a tripod uh, mount on the bottom. They're universal, okay? So you go to a dollar store, you buy a cheap, cheap uh, little one dollar tripod, one dollar tripod, and look, you take this off. See? Glue it on the bottom, then you can mount it on a tripod. How freaking exciting is that? We're all done, we're gonna go test it tomorrow. Probably run out of footage, I have a bad luck. Oh yeah, here, again, shameless self-promotion. I'm gonna do like a little freeze frame. Okay. Hey, we got him. Okay, time to test this. Time to put my money where my mouth is. And you can see I put this, I mounted this on this nice uh, tripod on my back uh, balcony. Anyway, you'd see that USB extension just kind of like dangling there. Uh, <laughs> if that falls off, then I gotta come all the way back up here connected again. I am playing 128 kilobits a second uh, music, that's why I'm sending down there, to the walking path. Now I'm doing this in the winter because foliage is basically your, basically your worst enemy when you want to send a uh, like 2.4 gigahertz signal. Foliage will just like suck it up. So I'm a little bit worried about just the trees themselves kind of blocking my signal. And I'll do all the GPS fancy stuff and get like the actual farthest uh, distance I'm able to get. So this is one actually practical application for a Bluetooth antenna. And let's uh, go ahead and give this a shot. I'm gonna turn the camera around and give you a shot of where the antenna is. We'll go for a walk. It's right up there. It's the path. And let's uh, see what we can get. I'm gonna get all the way on that end of the lake. Hopefully we'll be able to get a connection. We'll see. Okay, we got a perfect uh, signal. Signal's fine.
screws my face off. still fine. I actually had to uh, take off the headphones, put them on in the opposite direction. Bluetooth transceivers on the right ear. I need in the left ear to get a connection. I'm gonna get frostbite. Jeez. Connection's fine. I expect to lose it as we get past some of these trees in that bush. Again, connection is crystal clear. Okay, that's the maximum distance um, that we'd be able to get line of sight. So we'll pull up the GPS on Google Maps and see how far that was that we got. I'm gonna walk back. I think I spotted a cheetah up here or something. Some type of mountain lion. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Okay, it's not a cat. It's not hostile. Okay, YouTube. Um, I'm gonna go out on this back deck here, zoom in to the farthest possible spot I was able to get, just to give you some uh, perspective on this. One moment. Just about down there. Not bad. We'd call that a successful test.